Hi everyone, welcome to Let's Learn with Param. Today we have an exciting journey ahead of us. Today we're diving into a fascinating topic. What's the difference between an ocean, a sea, a bay, and a gulf? These terms are often used interchangeably, but they each have distinct characteristics that make them unique. So let's start with the biggest of them all, the ocean. Oceans are the largest bodies of water on Earth, covering about 71% of the planet's surface. Imagine a vast, endless expanse of water. That's your ocean. They are so immense that they influence weather patterns and climate across the globe. Oceans cover most of our planet and are home to incredible marine life. From the tiniest plankton to the largest whales, the diversity of life in the ocean is astounding. There are five oceans on Earth, the Pacific, Atlantic, Indian, Southern, and Arctic. Each of these oceans has its own unique features and ecosystems. Now, moving on to seas. Seas are smaller than oceans, but still quite large. Seas are smaller than oceans and are usually found where the land and ocean meet. They are often partially enclosed by land, which gives them a more sheltered environment. They are partially enclosed by land, which makes them not as deep as oceans. This shallower depth allows for different types of marine life to thrive. The Mediterranean Sea, for example, is almost completely surrounded by Europe, Asia, and Africa. It's a hub of historical significance in modern-day commerce. Next up, let's talk about bays. Bays are smaller than seas and are often found as inlets of seas or oceans. Bays are bodies of water that are also partially enclosed by land, but they're even smaller than seas. They often provide safe harbors for ships and are popular spots for recreational activities. They can be found as inlets of seas or oceans. Bays are known for their calm waters, which make them ideal for boating and fishing. A good example is the San Francisco Bay nestled within California. It's a bustling area with a rich history and vibrant culture. Bays are great spots for harbors and ports because of their calm waters. They provide a safe place for ships to dock and unload their cargo. Lastly, we have gulfs. A gulf is similar to a bay but generally larger and more deeply enclosed by land. Gulfs can be massive and play a significant role in the geography of a region. Think of the Gulf of Mexico, it's almost like a giant bite taken out of the continent. This gulf is crucial for the economies of the surrounding countries. Gulfs can have important economic roles due to their size and the resources they offer. They are often rich in natural resources like oil and gas, making them vital for energy production. So, to recap, oceans are huge and global, seas are smaller and usually next to land, bays are calm inlets and gulfs are large and deeply enclosed by land. Each of these water bodies has its own unique characteristics and importance. Each of these water bodies plays a unique role in Earth's geography and ecosystem. They support diverse forms of life and have significant impacts on human activities. Thanks for joining me on Let's Learn with Param. I hope you enjoyed our exploration of these fascinating water bodies. If you loved learning about the watery parts of our world, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have many more exciting topics to explore together. See you next time for more exciting explorations. Keep curious and keep learning.